He's quick to a rescue and handy in the surf. But some days, things just don't go to plan. Looks like Harrison's going in down south corner as well. A woman is being kept afloat by surfers in Backpacker's Rip. Can we jump on here? Head lifeguard Hoppo observes from the beach. When you rescue someone, there's no real etiquette, there's no signage on the board that says the you know, correct way to get on the board. Lie down, lie down, lie down. Lie down, here we go, lie down. No, not like that. <laughs> the woman, Georgia, takes a laid-back rescue technique, which could be referred to as the sunbaker. She's sunbaking on her back. And I just took her on board. I thought it was funny, and I knew when I was paddling in there'd be a lot of commentary coming from that lifeguard tower. Make sure you stay close to shore next time, OK? Head lifeguard Hoppo witnessed the unconventional rescue, but Harrison has a chance to redeem himself. Then straight away, I had to go back out for another person. You right, buddy? OK? Hop on the board, mate. Hop on the board. Come here. I'll take you in. Harrison has a chance to show Hoppo that the previous rescue was just a one-off accident. That guy jumped on my board and straight on their back. It wasn't ideal, especially, you know, like, first, first time, you know, you're getting led away with it, but second time, alarm bells start ringing. I love it. That, that would only happen to Harrison. Best ever. Yep, the guy's in the same position. I love it. <laughs> this is gold. Harrison's trying out a new rescue technique this afternoon. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I think Harrison's going to be uh, on his own here. I think it's going to be a, a Kiwi technique, and that's all it'll be. Buddy, keep swimming to the side, swim to your right. It's all part of Harrison's training. He's got to realise and he's got to understand when someone needs to be rescued. You're in huts. Seconds count. Maybe he could have gone earlier. Get in there, huts. He's in, the young fella's in. I went out there on the board and I got to him and didn't have a lot of fight left in him. All right, buddy. I'm over there, hop on. Put your legs up, face the front. Don't sit up, lie down like that. Good work, buddy, stay there, stay there. Wouldn't have been much longer until he was in real trouble. We were confident that Harrison could get this guy in time, and he did. Make sure he's safe with the flag, six time, okay? It's very dangerous around this area. Looking back on the rescue, you know, this, this stuff I could have done differently. You know, I could have done this better or done that better, but as Kerbox always said to me, you know, no matter how bad it looks or how stupid you look, as long as you get them back to shore, and that's the main thing. I'm vital. Cheers, mate. Got the silly season fast approaching down here at Bondi, and there's going to be a lot of people down here, and hopefully I'll get my fair share of rescues and get some good rescues underneath my belt to get me through. Prank on Harrison today is pretty good. It's uh, something that, when you haven't been here for long, that you would possibly believe may need to be done. Yeah, them too. Not those two. Not those two, yeah. Now I've got one, two, three, four. There's another two, just there. I think Harry's just giving him a bit more instruction on who to count. <laughs> There's another two, just come down the stairs, red shirt and the girl with the hat. I'm just surprised that Harry's went down there, it's just going to expose him. You can only count to 10, 20 maybe if he's got no shoes on. 21 in the shower. 1,121, 1,122, 100, 1,000. <laughs> the thing with it is firstly, for us, I look at it as a lifeguard service, the more people we can put more lifeguards on, mm -hmm. you know? So we've got to get these stats. It's, it's got, to, got to be part of our yearly thing that we do. Um, did you get that, lady? Got it now. <laughs> three come and they just come down the stairs. Yeah, One, two, three, yeah. Bloke in the red shorts here. A hard see to... It's 
one six six two. So if someone wants to write that down, and I'll start again. <laughs> he's just that keen, mate. He'll do anything. He'll just do anything. He's a go-getter, mate. He's still at that stage where he. He's just a go-getter. Do anything. Yeah, do anything. Harrison is just such a lovely young bloke. He's so keen to impress. I said to him the other night, Harrison, would you like to stay back to 9.30? And he said, I'd love to. Just wondering, uh, what's your formula? Just for like, how to deal with people who are leaving and extra people coming after you've swept that area of the beach. And I'm just giving him a fair shot, I guess. He's clicked 1,600 times, supposedly. <laughs> he hasn't oh, clicked onto the joke. Boom, boom. You're very good. Just done the second one. So my first number was uh, 1661, and my second one is 1795. So a bit of a difference, and I think, you know, look, to be honest, I think my first number was more correct. I think, you know, maybe a few more people have left the beach, and I've made, it might have been a bit more trigger happy, but, so I might divide those two up and see what we get, but it's pretty rough, and hey, hopefully it helps with, their, with the stats they need to get, so. Now, what was the final number, mate? The final number I got was 1795. 1795? 1795. Is that from north to south? Yeah. So, how long did it take up in the end? I, I wasn't, I didn't know the time. And have you, have you, have you ever seen any other lifeguard do this? No. Have you ever heard of it happening? Never? Never, never heard of it happening. It's never happened before, mate. <laughs> 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 I got pranked good. I forgot to put sunscreen on because I thought the job was that important. No, so I've got no sunscreen. I'm burning walking up there. Welcome to Bondi, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> click the dog, sir. Click the dog. Did you ever know? Did you ever? Never know. Yeah, I just thought, you know, yeah. trainees is the trainee's job. Yeah, you look like Dundee with a buffalo in the air, Quick. I know, I was quite excited to share my results. So I thought, you know, they're quite similar. And I thought, hey, I've done a good job. <laughs> and I've just been burnt. <laughs> Two hours. Two hours. Unbelievable. The man has been reported for indecently assaulting a 15-year-old girl. Harrison and Tommy step in until police arrive. The cop gave the bloke two options. You can come up on your own terms, or if you're going to play up, we're going to have to handcuff you, and we have to take you up that way in front of everyone. The policeman's only backup are Harrison and Tommy. Police are apparently arresting this guy. It just happened so quickly. They look like they've got him hang up behind his back. Oh, I think the last time I arrested someone was probably playing cops and robbers in the schoolyard. Are you being serious? Like, if you can't bring the school yeah. yeah. Police must investigate the serious allegations. I can't, I can't feel my hand. Sit down. Sit down, buddy. Did you bring a wallet down to the beach, buddy? No. You don't? No. I was at the beach. I was taking a dip. Check me no, no out. No wallet? No wallets, nothing. How did you get here? Bus. Where's your Opal card? How did you pay for the bus? I paid cash. Cash? Yeah. Where's your cash? Huh? Where's your cash? Where's my cash? I gave it to the bus. Okay, how are you getting home? Huh? You heard me? How are you getting home if you don't have How am money? I getting home? I have friends that live here in Bondage. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't even know why you guys brought me here. Like, what did I do wrong? Approaching minors and kissing them. Bro, I didn't kiss anyone. And guess what? Said, let's go. You. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the court. And I'm We're charging. I'm charging you, and, and I'm charging this guy. Are you drunk? I'm not drunk. You're not drunk? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you, no. Are you on any medication? Okay, to be honest, yes. I took two couple beers. Police have got him. It's really quite challenging, actually, to capture these people and get witnesses sometimes. Do you have an evidence against me? If you don't, I'm going to sue you. 
Some older girls from the group arrived to make statements. I kept running away from him, but he kept following. And then that's when like he threw us into the like threw me in the water and told him like not to do it. And then he was like, but I didn't do anything wrong and all this stuff. But like he obviously did if he like touched us, that's just not on if you don't have like their permission. It's something you don't want to experience when you come to the beach on a really hot day, planning on just swimming and having fun with your friends. The man was charged with indecent assault of a minor. Temperatures are rising down here at the beach and, and also the tempers are rising of, of a few people, so we just try and mediate it all and make sure no one drowns in between.